and welcome back to the Wolves Den. And I have a confession to make. I don't feel like uh, racing sims are the very best content for me. I'm much more interested in setting up new camera angles like this one. Checking out old cameras with the new cameras. Which one is better? I'm just not really interested in this racing game anymore. And not very good, okay? Because I'm trying my best. I'm trying hard. I watch videos. I try to learn. And in technical races, such as today's race, which is a non Nürburgring, I pick the best car, or maybe I not, don't pick the best car, and my times are like 15 seconds less than the other, and than the others, which is just just very disheartening. And the comments on the videos are not very nice either. Now I feel like the updates and upgrades to this game somehow made the matchmaking a bit harder for me. I don't know. So we will see how this race goes. Not too high hopes for this one. I did my best with the qualifiers and check out the times here i am two seconds behind number 12 i'm only ahead of the did not finish group so this video might be very negative or at least a start because i don't even feel like recording anything anymore just feels like i'm not good enough at all for this stuff and if you don't care enough and you're not very good at it and you don't have time to practice and get good at something it's gonna end up just destroy you so i might stop these racing videos for a while. It all depends on how this race is gonna go. Could be the most amazing race of my life. I am back in a Ferrari again. This is my comfort pick. There is not really a matter for this one yet. So we will see what we can do. Oh, I almost crashed into everybody there. Oops. That first turn was a bit hectic. Looks like this race is the nemesis of a bunch of people because they leave in the track left and right here. So I might only need to just hold on. Yes, push me, no problem. And I'm also tired of be racing in D category where they're always just pushing you. Nobody's showing any racing etiquette. They don't even try to avoid you. It's just all very hectic. It's not the best experience. I try to be as good as I can and not to hit anybody. But all that means nothing. When people just cut right into you. Oh Jesus. I almost lost control there for a second. So far, everybody left the racetrack once at least. I'm just gonna let that Porsche go because he doesn't care at all. I just try to be as safe as possible. They're driving through each other right behind me. Oops. Getting hit left and right. Now that Porsche driver gonna think I'm the one who push him out. And he will swear vengeance on me you see this is a perfect representation how the three race is going people just destroying each other willy nilly
Might be the perfect race to illustrate the problems. I gained a bunch of spaces so far because everybody else just in a big fight, fist to cuffs, if you will. Oh yeah, that's how it goes, yeah. That's something for the ages. At least he's the one who got destroyed, not me. But you see, it's the same guy again, again and again. Just keep hitting me. And I'm not even the one who pushed him out in the last fender bender. Very, very interesting start for this game. And all of a sudden I try to be safe. And not to hit anybody. And look at the first one. It's already 20 seconds ahead. There is no chance in hell I get back up today. forget to check if this race is a pit stop race probably is now the Russian is gonna push that guy out another yellow flame Oh, Jesus. That was a bit of a bumpy corner. How are we doing? I don't know. I'm getting faster at least. That's something. I hate this track, if I want to be honest. I'm not good enough for these. Where did you come from? I didn't even notice he was behind me. Strange things are happening. And I didn't have time to watch my cheat sheet. Who is Rory Armstrong? No. I mix it up again. Rory Alexander. I always watch his streams before I record. To have an idea of the track. Not today. today
And I also realize, fun fact, if I say a bunch of shit in the race and make it short, it doesn't really matter what the full video says, it's only about the shorts anyway. So if I don't make any shorts of my whinging at the start, nobody would ever know. Oh, Jesus. They just look at the shorts. They think it's just another racing streamer and I don't even stream. Uh, it's all very complicated. I'm just not fast enough. If I don't feel like it, I'm not fast enough. The first one is way too far ahead. And number 12 is catching up. See, there's the thing. I'm not fast enough. I'm okay with that. But then somebody catches up. And instead of overtaking or something, they're just gonna push you right out. Just hit you right in the bum. it's a pit stop race and my good old friend is gonna be behind me how is it that fast tell me I break on the same place like before how was I so fast that I go out this is super annoying. I don't know what happened to this matchmaking, but how is it okay to put me against a person who can put 40 seconds on me and the fastest lap is 158 it's more than 6 seconds faster than mine oh yes hit me no problem you see they cannot even pass without hitting bunch of brain dead idiots to go to the pit then I will come back last at least I didn't hit the pit entrance uh, I don't need a tire change no fuel let's just go horrible angle
half the grid just quit already. first one is right behind me that's not very good I am a minute behind how is that possible it's unbelievable even with his pit stop he's still gonna be at least 50 seconds ahead Says 109. Very weird. I also keep forgetting which corner I'm in, which is not helpful, really. Oh, I'm only 11th at the moment. I hate these corners. And every time... Every time it's the race with medium tires. I just want to quit the whole game and recording stuff. These are horrible races. Well, that corner was horrible as well. Never mind. when I'm left to my own devices I manage to mess up stuff and then you edit that they cannot pass you without breaking into your face stepping on you it's all a really really unpleasant experience And when I'm doing my qualifying laps, I don't talk, right? And those times, even slower than when I'm chatting in race, my qualifying was 2.6 something. And I'm going faster now, while I'm still talking away. Right. I just pushed that guy out for no apparent reason. Is he coming back or not? He is. I'm just gonna let him pass because that was a bit mean spirited. I didn't mean to do that. He come back from the pit. I give him space. He tries to cut in front of me. Let's go. It was actually his fault. But never mind it. Eh? 
I lost all control. I lost my touch apparently. The car is a bit slippery, Jesus. That wasn't a bad crash. It was just a bit slippery stuff. Fair enough. Final lap. Let's end it with a bang. The fastest lap. That would be quite funny. That guy who was smashing everybody at the start. Not even here anymore. Oops. I was watching the list. Not that it matters anymore. Does it? DJ has finished the race. Oh, these tires are dead. Too bad to be fair. I'm just not experienced enough. Exactly what I was saying. That was a professional move by my part. Oh, let this end, please. Right. I gained two positions, which is perfect. I think I'm gonna leave these racing videos on the shelf for a while. I'm done. I think so. Unless I feel the urge to do it again, but probably not. So thank you for subscribing. If you want to do a max exodus and unsubscribe, I would understand that too. I'm just fed up with this rubbish. Bang.